Hello, my name is Maria Castro. And what I do currently for work is I'm a teacher's assistant for fourth and fifth grade. I assist in teaching all subjects from reading to math to social studies and science. My personal education goals is to graduate with my bachelor's in English and to teach English for any grades from middle school to high school level. Um, I also would like to open up my own tutoring business, which I am in the works with that. Why am I taking this course? Well, I believe that this course is very important to learn how to provide the resources that a student needs in order to, you know, be more, to be better when it comes to literacy, to have more, you know, involvement in literacy and to know how I could be a help to getting my students to, you know, getting right on the literacy track. Um, this course is going to help me because it's going to teach me what I need and the information that I should provide for students from different backgrounds, whether they would be low economic, middle class, or possibly, you know, on the higher rank. Um, something interesting about myself and my family, well, I am a Christian, so when it comes to um, establishing values, those are the values that I love to share as well as Back to the Future is my favorite movie. So it was something interesting. So I was going to say that. And yes, I used to work in Disney World. That's something else that's interesting. Um, so something that I believe that I work well with already in the classroom is that listening to others with understanding and empathy. You know, when you have a room filled with 30 students who are coming from different emotions, you know, especially when they're about to hit puberty and then all these kind of things, you have to know how to listen and to understand and to empathize with them. Um, as well as responding with wonderment and awe. Since I work with older children, it doesn't mean that I'm going to react or not recognize when they do good. So I always make sure to, you know, praise my students when they're doing something, you know, affirm them when they're doing something well, affirm them when they, when they got a good grade, affirm them when, you know, when they usually misbehave, but they started behaving or they changed their, their actions. I also think it's very important to think flexibly when it comes to, you know, any age group of students that you're working with. Students are not going to always be in the same mood you know one day they may be happy another day they may come a little grumpy to school but it's good to it's important to always have the mentality of being flexible with the students the main goal is to have them learn something every single day therefore you know you're not going to go based off their emotions but you're going to go based off you know what's important for them to learn as well as you know sympathize empathizing with what they are feeling uh, three habits of, of mind that I would like to nurture are striving for accuracy and, per, and precision, precision. I believe that it's really important to, you know, if the student is constantly getting something wrong, to give them the resources to be able to, you know, have more accuracy with what they're doing, as well as creating an, creating an atmosphere filled with creativity, imagining, and innovation. It's very important to have those tools in the classroom because if not, the students are not going to want to be involved. They need that stimulus, especially when they're, you know, very young and, and, and that's where they seek to find it. A lot of times students spent eight to 10 hours in school. So it's very important to always have them thinking and not, you know, stuck to, to a technology device or to anything like that as well as taking responsible risk. I believe this is something that I'm already starting to apply with the students that I work with. You know, it's important to, you know, right now they're working on like a group project when it comes to um, setting a debate whether homework is important or not. And right now myself and the teacher, we're giving the students a room we're giving students room to, uh, you know, be creative with their with their project, to take risks, to talk about things that possibly not all students will talk about. And, you know, these risks are edu ed educated. They're very um, educative and they will <laughs> help them, you know, start, you know, researching 
things that they haven't done in the previous years that they've been in school. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited to be part of this course. Thank you.